بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو رحمان ڈیجیٹل پروڈکشن دس از لیکچر نمبر 11 آف فزکس 50 54 آف جی سی ای ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈیڈ فائیو کوسچنس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس کوسچن نمبر Six. Let us first understand the question and then we will try to solve it. Question number six is on page number 34 of unit 2. The graph below shows how the velocity of a certain moving body varies with the time t that is time t and that is velocity that is zero and on right side and on vertical axis they given us the graph and i exactly portray that graph uh, first they are saying that calculating the calculate the acceleration during the first 10 second shown on the graph so ladies and gentlemen let us find the acceleration you know that acceleration is equal to delta v divided by delta t first we have to find the delta v from the graph so you know that it is 45 when you <coughs> extend the graph on x axis that will be 45 you can do that in the book and the time is given to you that is 10 second so delta v is equal to uh, 45 and that is starting from the uh, 10 it is starting from the 10 ladies and gentlemen this is 10 from here you have to draw the graph so we have to find 45 minus 10 why 10 because this area the graph is starting from here so this area should be subtracted from that 45 and then here it is 10 minus 0 so that is 45 minus 10 35 and then 10 is the and when we divide this by 10 so it is very easy it is equal to 3.5 meter per second now we can find the uh, acceleration this implies that a is equal to delta v and we found delta v to be 3.5 and delta t is given as uh, 10 second delta t is given as 10 second so it means only we found here delta t which is 35 meter per second here we have to put the 10 because only a change in velocity we have to find here and that is 35 meter per second and that is 35 divided by 10 and the final answer is 
3.5 meter per second square that was the whole story about the first part now the second part is saying that there is gentlemen uh, only this red line is given in the book and you can see that from the book here stop it and observe it okay ladies and gentlemen the second part is saying during the period t is equal to 30 second to 45 second between 40 and 40, uh, 50 that is 45 second now the question is saying the body decelerates uniformly to rest rest mean zero uniformly means straight line deceleration means downward line so from here 30 to 45 it is decelerating so we are denoting this by the dash dash line and it is 45 this one is not that is another part we will do that right now as well but this line is showing the deceleration of the body between 30 and 45 okay third part is saying obtain the distance travel by the body during the period t is equal to 30 second to t is equal to 45 second uh, 30 to 45 when v that is part number 3 obtain the velocity when the t is equal to 35 second uh, yes if you see during the t 30 and t 45 the decelerate complete the graph and obtain the velocity at t is equal to 37.5 now ladies and gentlemen this is the 45 and now this is the 37.5 a little bit on the right of 35. So from the graph you can take exact value and that is 35.5 second. We have to find the value of velocity from the graph the velocity of the body so you have to extend this line whenever it is touching this slope then you have to extend that to the left and touch it with the y-axis so in this particular case when you are extending it like this and you are bringing it it is 22 here you can observe that this dash dash line on 37.5 and when it comes because we are finding the velocity so v is equal to 22 meter per second v is equal to 22 meter per second okay the third part is saying that obtain the distance travel by the body during the period t is equal to 30 second to t is equal to 45 ladies and gentlemen 35 is here which is this one 35 is here and 45 is here 
so we have to find the area of this because this is a triangle and the third part is saying to find the acceleration during t is equal to 30 second and t is equal to 5 second. So, you know that area under graph is equal to 1 over 2 into base into height into base into height. Now, the base from 35 to 45 is 10, 1 over 2 into 10 and the height of this is 45, the height is 45, 1 over 2 and from 30 to 45 it is 15, not 10. And then we are having 45 and that is meter square. Ladies and gentlemen, if we calculate this on calculator, I calculate it in advance. So, it will be 337.5 meter square. And that will be equal to 33, 337.5 meter. You know why I am writing meter because this is the distance. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of question number 6. Now, we will do question number 7 that is very important as far as CIE exam is concerned. So, please pay full attention to this scenario. Uh, let us first understand the question. Let us understand the question. The question number 7, uh, there is a scenario given a sphere is left from here and it is moving like this. Keep in mind this that this is 0, this is 1 meter, this is 2 meter, this is 3 meter, this is 5 meter distance and this is 4 and 5 meter distance. Let us understand the question and we will accordingly retaliate. The horizontal section BC that is horizontal section B and C of length 5 meter and you can see of the smooth track A, B, C, D, A, B, C and D shown in the diagram was calibrated in meters. A steel sphere of mass 0 0.3 kilogram was released from a point on the slope AB and it rolled towards ND of the track and it is rolling over towards the track num D to the point D of the track. A short time after the sphere had passed B, a short time after the sphere passed B, a stopwatch was started and the times at which the sphere passed various calibrations marked were noted and recorded in the following table. To save the time, I wrote that table already data is 
taken for you two meter distance is noted at 3.5 second at six second the sphere pass three meter calibration and 8.5 it pass four meter and at 11 second it passed five meter this sphere so this data is distance from b the distance from b in meter which is in meter and there is time per second these are the second you can see the first time is 3.5 the second is not six seven and it is not double the constant value is not 3.5 then 6, it means that the sphere has been slowed, slowed down and 8.5 is not the double and then 11. So, when it is started, it is moving fastly and then gradually it is slowing down. So, that is the data is taken. Using graph paper draw a distance time graph for the sphere okay ladies and gentlemen we took this uh, table and we drew this graph this is distance this one which is on y axis and this is time and this is on x axis Ladies and gentlemen, because there is 3.5, so it means that the first point will be here, 3.5, and that is 2. So, it means 2 meter distance is covered at 3.5. Similarly, at 6 second, the time is 3 so it is between 2 and 4 so it is 3 on 6 from here we took this data similarly at 8.5 which will be somewhere here and that is 4 4 is taken at 8.5 similarly at 11 which will be somewhere here we took the 5 meter which is between 4 and 5. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was the first part they wanted us to using the graph paper. I do not have here the graph paper. Roughly, I drew it. You can get a very precise value. Ladies and gentlemen, on the graph paper, I did it for you people. But explaining it on the graph paper is a bit difficult. So, that is why I drew it on the uh, exact value are here. So, you can see that using the graph paper, we drew the uh, graph. Now, we are turning our focus to the second part. Okay, the B part is saying calculate the average velocity of the sphere is it roll between 3 meter and 4 meter. Gradient, this is the B part. Gradient of line between 3 meter and 4 meter will give 
the uh, average velocity the average velocity ladies and gentlemen let us find that this is 3 and 4 yani this point and this point we have to draw if we want to find the slope of this line the gradient of this line we have to draw a triangle of 90 degree so you know that gradient is equal to as gradient is equal to rise divided by run this run is the horizontal and rise is the vertical value of this uh, triangle so the rise will be is given in the question 4 minus 3 and if we take it from the graph this is 6 and it will be 8.5 so run is 8.5 minus 6 and when we calculated it 1 divided by 2 over 5 meter per second and when we divide it it will be equal to 0 0.4 and that is meter per second yes i calculated for you people in advance to save the time so that was the second part the third part is saying that assuming that the sphere rolled freely after it left the slope a b calculate the distance of the sphere from b when the stopwatch was started when the stopwatch was started actually we have to find that at which time the stopwatch is started remember we took the data from 3.5 second and it was here so when we want to see that when the stopwatch is started we have to extend this graph and if you see from the graph it will be 0.2 it will be 0 .6, uh, 0 0.6 sorry so as can be seen from the graph clearly as can be seen from the graph clearly that the stopwatch that the stopwatch is started at the distance uh, the stopwatch is started when the distance distance covered by the sphere was 0 0.6 meter you can see that here it is 0 
so stopwatch is started from zero and when it was 0 0.6 i took this value from the graph and that is correctly here just for the explanation purpose i am telling you you extend this line calculate the calibration and you will get 0 0.6 meter that was the whole story about the part number d uh, c now what is the acceleration of the sphere it it roll along bc explain your explain your reasoning from the graph it is evident that line is uniformly increasing from the graph it is evident that the line is increasing increasing uniformly increasing uniformly so acceleration is zero so acceleration is zero here can be seen from the graph that acceleration is you can say that it is constant constant zero or constant is a good word constant because acceleration uh, uh, velocity is increasing but the acceleration is constant because the line is a straight line and you learn that inside the uh, previous lecture Okay, E part is saying when the sphere met the sloping part CD, the sloping part CD, it is going down when it reach here, uh, it is quite clear that it will decelerate, it will decelerate, here it will accelerating, it is, it is known uh, from the 2, 3, 4, it is excellent, but slowly it will decelerate and when it is moving upward, it means that it will decelerate. So, what actually the question is asking, calculate the deceleration of the sphere is it rolled up the CD. So, we have to, this is 13 and I have to draw a line from here and that will be the answer. Say that it is decelerating. You know it will be uniformly decelerating. It will be uniformly decelerating. And deceleration means that this will be the line okay this line shows deceleration and because it is a straight line so it is showing you uniform deceleration question number eight is saying a person drops question number eight question number eight here i am writing c graph okay question number eight is saying a person drops a table tennis ball from the top of a high building figure one shows the table tennis ball just after it has been released from release and figure two shows the table tennis ball just before it reaches the 
ground let me draw those two sphere it is something like this this is one number sphere and it is given here like this and it is written w uh, a sorry and there is the b number sphere and there are two arrows given this is arrow b and this is arrow c the question is saying name the three forces a b and c now a is equal to weight B is also weight. And C is air resistance. C is air resistance. Because it is before touching the ground. When it touches the ground then it means it will be zero motionless so this is the uh, answer of first b what is the value of the initial acceleration of the table tennis ball in figure one acceleration due to gravity this was part number a and now v acceleration due to gravity near the surface of the earth to be very exact that is 9.8 meter per second square 0. Uh, 9.8 meter per second third part is saying explain why the acceleration of the table tennis ball decreases at its fall to the ground uh, acceleration decreases acceleration decreases when the ball is falling down due to air resistance air resistance okay that was the answer of c that's it for today ladies and gentlemen uh, and with this we come to the end of the chapter number two from tomorrow inshallah we will start chapter number three so don't miss the fun uh, subscribe my channel share it with your friends and family members and support me press the bell icon so you will be immediately informed when i upload the new video thank you allah hafiz